Yeah, so one of the reasons why we're here is uh, brands have gone from, say, a one a campaign a quarter to an always-on mentality, a constant dialogue with the, with the consumers. And, for example, one of the clients we work for, KLM, is they use Facebook. They've been using that for many years as not just a social tool to engage, but also if anybody has... Uh, questions on where's my luggage at or why is my flight delayed they use that as well so for a brand it's super important to be relevant and available across all of those touch points uh, compared to back in the old days it's like one two three set campaigns and then and then you're done music is a very strong tool not just for uh, changing people's behavior and, and emotion but also for, rec for recall I think we all know the T-Mobile or McDonald's like jingles at the end of any commercial. A lot of airliners use that just to you know, get that primed in people's ears, that Pavlov reaction. Even when you're doing the dishes, the uh, commercial's on, you still know, oh, that's that uh, airliner or whatever brand talking to you. What brands are now more and more looking into is, okay, we have a whole range of touch points where music can be relevant. It's not just our advertising, but you know we've got millions of people coming into our homes for half a day, basically, sitting in, in the airplane. So how do you deal with that? What do you do with on onboarding music? Or what do you do with uh, in-flight entertainment with little bumpers in between? So those are all kind of spaces you can own as a brand and basically brand through sound and music, making people feel more relaxed and at home. Um, but also recognizing you as a, as a brand. So we've worked with KLM for a bit over five years now. Um, starting off, the assignment was, what's our voice in the, in the world of uh, sound and music? So we developed a sound logo, but also a, a tone of voice in music. And we've deployed that across everything uh, from their social uh, campaigns and their uh, both line campaigns to their onboarding music to you know, the, the flight safety film, all that, really connecting the dots between. And we see that's being, bringing, uh, building a stronger brand. But additionally, it's actually also um, saving them some money because everything we make gets into a music bank and is uh, made available for all of the other uh, markets and agencies to be reused. So it's a, it's a double-edged sword, basically. Um, well, to learn more about the industry, uh, looking at the, the, the turn up and the, the, the people speaking here, I think it's quite an esteemed uh, conference. So that's one. And obviously, uh, uh, you're building new relationships. Uh, there's a lot of interesting uh, branding agencies around here as well that we haven't met, and uh, I hope, hope to engage with them as well. Coming into the conference, it's, uh, it feels very uh, international. Um, everybody's speaking fluent English. It's you know, from the hospitality uh, coming in, registration to, to all of the uh, separate keynote speakers, it seems very well organized. And uh, it seems that the esteem or the, the level of people uh, joining here is, is quite high as well. So I'm ha very happy uh, to see that.